Favorite movie has got to be, huh, The Matrix maybe? It was Breakthrough Technology, and he's a Canadian. I liked him, and it was a good script, and um, it's a mesh of the Japanese, the, the North American technology together. Bit of a, a sci-fi script with a Japanese character, and then meshed into the North American Hollywood style. So I think that made the best of both worlds. I do like uh, Doctor Who. It's been around for a long, long time, and I think it is superb. The, the storyline, the filming, the idiosyncrasies of all the players, they're not violent. They're kind of cerebral and yet fun, a little bit of suspense, appeals to the uh, kid side, appeals to a little bit of the adult side. If you're going to ask me a singer, I would say Adele. Yeah. Love her. Wow, what a voice. She's not jazz, she's not uh, glitz, but substance. When you hear the voice, first time I heard her a couple of years ago, I go, honey, this is, you should listen to this. Wow. You know, she stands there, not a lot of dancing, not a lot of fancy stuff, but just straight quality. She was rich content. You know, overseas, I, I would um, listen to them. That's, that's my connection to the uh, first world, because you see the third world stuff. And then when you put on the earphones, like, wow, this is first world again. It's, it's you're in a little world of your own. Our kids here don't know how good they have it, you know, until they go to the third world and see real people living. You know, expectations on dirt floor. This is what they know. That's all they have. So I see a lot of potentials for our guys, for our country, and, and that's why I'm trying to ring the alarm bell here in London to say the world is catching on because those kids who are living in dirt floor, they have internet, they have 4G, they see what we have and they want what we have. Not what you have, but they want that same standard. So then they're advancing, they're studying hard. The world is catching up and I want London to modernize, to make sure we're competitive in 10 years time because these guys are catching up. And if we stay stagnant, they'll, they'll surpass us. So I want to make sure we're always ahead of the rest of the country, of the world. So that's why I'm running, is to make sure that your living standard in 10 years, 20 years time, your kids, when they come out of school, in the future, we're prepared. I want to pave the road so that we stay competitive and we'll give you all the tools we can to make you a viable a lifestyle instead of hampering you that you have to always catch up. I want to make sure you're always ahead.